7.30 p.m. We're at Broadkill Beach in Delaware. It's May 29th, I think. Um, and it's supposed to be a full moon. This should be the prime location and time of day to see the horseshoe crabs spawning. The tide is coming in. They don't really start breeding until high tide. And we're here a little early. I don't know what kind of luck we're going to have, but I've seen other videos where there's like thousands of them just swarming the beach and that's what we're hoping to see. Um, there are some crabs around and they are burying themselves. These are all alive. So they're probably just waiting for the tide to come in and then they'll start reproducing but yes even though they look dead they are very much alive as you can see. So, we're not gonna harass them, but I wanted you to see for yourselves. But yeah, they're all over the place. Just uh, waiting for that tide to come in, I guess. So I'm gonna leave it there and do some beach combing. Hopefully, uh, have a better video for you later in the night. They're not actually crabs. They are uh, actually related to spiders and scorpions. And, uh, I mean, these things have been spawning on beaches for the last 400 million years, and we're lucky enough to get to see it, I hope. tide to actually physically lay the eggs then I guess the eggs kind of get buried in the sediment and washed out when the tide goes back out but high tide is when they when they do it and the full moons and new moons are the best times to see it and this happens in May and June throughout the summer I guess but um, and all along the Atlantic coast from Maine to Florida the best place to see it is in Delaware Bay so that's for whatever reason that's just the the population center for these horseshoe crabs and again these are ancient animals whose lineage goes back 400 million years before the dinosaurs were were even here these things were crawling out into the beaches and spawning the same way they do now and it really is a privilege to get to see them i don't know if we're going to see them in uh any large numbers but uh looks like the birds are anticipating it these horseshoe crabs their eggs do provide a substantial food source for a lot of seabirds. Uh, red knots in particular. So, you know, look them up and learn something about them. But they're, they're pretty dependent on the horseshoe crab spawning because they migrate north and this is a stopover for them where they fatten up on these horseshoe crab eggs and, and then head farther north.
but even this is nothing compared to what's going to be happening come a high tide. I don't know how much later I'm going to be here. I was I didn't bring a flashlight or anything, and I I got to be careful where I'm stepping. I don't want to step on these things. Look at that. These guys are completely harmless, nothing to worry about, but they do have some sharp, spiny tails. I'd rather not step on them. But, um, yeah, it's just a beautiful day to be out here doing this. Look at that sunset with these awesome prehistoric creatures. I know they're not perps, but I figure you guys can appreciate them anyway. And yeah, the, the, the beach uh, will undoubtedly be covered in them. And again, I am in Delaware Bay. This is where this happens every year. Uh, all throughout the summer, but primarily in May and June on full moon nights during high tide. So, you know, get yourselves over here if you can. Check it out. This is, look at this. Look at all these. These are all undoubtedly males looking to grab onto that bigger female right there. Isn't that something? 